Hello again everyone, my name is Yoglog and welcome to another episode from Power to Rome. Uh, today we are going to be, uh, well, probably fighting the Gauls again I think at some stage. Well it is five years. I was going to go after the Angry Varians, uh, yeah, Angry Varians I suppose. However, that's no longer possible. Uh, they're currently in the process of being subsumed by the surrounding barbarian states, so I guess I'm going to have to go after Carthage here, so there's no point moving these legions up. So I'm going to declare war once we get our aggressive expansion down to about 10 or so and that'll give time to get all of our forts built and also and probably more importantly think about expanding our fleet further because if it goes into contact with the Egyptian fleet at the minute it's going to get absolutely wrecked so let's uh Let's make sure that we get expanded, ready for the inevitable warfare against the Egyptians here. Who seem to have pretty much, yeah, they've completely dealt with their revolt, which took place in Egypt. Bunch of harsh treatment to deal with disloyal provinces is fine. Let's see. Um, That will do for the minute. There's a lot of additional ships. So in terms of score, India is second. Which is kind of funny because they're not actually that big. Yeah, only 1800 pops. Pandya is third, so my kingdom is fourth. A new religious researcher is needed, and I'm not sure if I have anyone... Okay, I do. <laughs> it's terrible. Only free research... Uh, yeah, only free zeal. So it's not actually going to be generating too many points of research, but he'll do the job, I suppose. You're not corrupt, but can I put... Someone's got slightly better... Uh, finesse in charge. The answer is I can, and hopefully I will deal with it.
Right, dealing with the remains of Carthage over in Africa would be nice, because that means I can just isolate Iberia then. Ooh. Uh, we do have someone who fits. Okay. Although our religious researcher died pretty much immediately. I have to put an even worse person in charge. 0002. Jeez. That's, uh... Yeah. Not great. Let's put a couple of marketplaces down in Rome, I suppose. Right, culture is expanding in a few locations. Okay, plus 5% martial advances. Sure. Seems good to me. Right, the second line of forts is in the process of being built. Should take our fleet into roughly comparable numbers. I'm going to need to scheme popularity, I think. No, let's go scheme sponsor games in Roma. Gonna temporarily import some more papyrus, but that's not gonna last long because when I go to war against Egypt for Carthaginian Iberia, that's gonna take up the mer. That's gonna cancel all the trade routes. Um, I should probably attack into Galicia at some point. Stability is recovering, our aggressive expansion is pretty significantly down, which is all excellent. Let's import some additional spices. I can't afford this. He's going to have to cover the costs himself. Are you corrupt? No. Just that province is proven to be a bit disloyal. Do, 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 do. I'm going to put a better military commander in charge here, if possible, as well. Yeah, you'll do. Because I need to make sure that I destroy the Egyptian fleet, so we don't get uh, Egyptian troops landing in Greece and ransacking everything. Continue with the aggressive expansion reduction. Let's go provincial census, which allows me to choose 
Where is it? Government traditions. Reduces uh, monthly corruption, increases provincial loyalty, and the loyalty of governors. And I need some more gold. You're already slightly corrupt. Well, that should bring my navy to rough parity with the Egyptian navy. I think they're the only, only nation that can match me militarily now in a couple of areas. We now have over 20,000 pops, which is also quite nice. Oh, you're corrupt and not very loyal. You'll do. A crisis in the Ptolemaic Kingdom. Interesting. Do -do -do -do. me off drilling. That should help. Uh, so it's only a couple of years away from being completed. is excellent news. Uh, once we get down to about 10 A, we're going to declare here. I'm also going to go for a bellicose stance at that stage as well. One of the things I may do here So I've been going for research points. I think I'm actually going to go war score cost reduction. Yeah. Makes more sense what I need at this stage. Oh, we should have done it a while back, really. Um, but again, this is my first game in quite a while, so it's just getting used to it again. Whoa! What's the point of dictator? fleet based over here. Alright, do have some import routes available. Ideally I want some cinnabar, which we can get. Probably some marble.
<laughs> Just uh, some additional grain, I suppose, for the moment. Just so I don't have any food shortages. I'm at war with quite a large chunk of Iberia here. But I need to secure my borders in a couple of areas. I am at war with Garamantia. Thirties. Siege ability increase. Sure. And another breakthrough. So I need to be at peace and then I can demand the line of succession, which is great. That gives Freeman output. Interesting. Do, do, do. Don't think there's anything else I need now. Let's go store civic duty. They're going to hire mercenaries against us, I know for sure. It's going to take a while for Egyptian troops to reach the front here, so I'm going to split Legio Italia up slightly. Forces in the region causing me issues. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Port routes. I can't get Cinnabar, which is unfortunate. Disloyal, you are. Um, let's swap you out for someone a bit more loyal then. Okay, Garamantia actually won a battle, which is not good. Tell you got constants. 
assault ability increase, uh, heavy cavalry and light infantry offense, and the commander gets plus two marshal. That's pretty huge, actually. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to withdraw part of Legio Italia over to go help out in North Africa here. Africa pretty much dealt with. Let's go land over here. So I'm seeing some of our fleets here and there. been completed, gained some gold, popularity, manpower and stability. Yeah, let's go for that. That's going to help with our loyalty problems, so I'm quite happy with, with that now being sorted out. Another military tradition is going to be forest combat bonus, and then it's going to be omen power. Loyalty gain chance minus ten percent. Succession get, uh, value plus fifteen. That's going to be useful for in future. Uh, let's get you to hunt fleets. Grisha gets Montagena, uh, excellent. battle. Okay, Leisure Italia doing a sterling job over it. And 
we are winning battle after battle, which is good. Which, to be fair, at this stage is not really too surprising. Our military is so far ahead of other factions. It's, well, for me it's funny, it's certainly not so for them. We're very easily handling a war on multiple fronts, so... I think I'm probably going to try and take Serenica off of Egypt here. manually take control of our conquest of Iberia for a little bit. These forts need to fall. They're hiring more mercenaries. is a bit of a pain. I should be able to deal with them. Uh, Egypt is sending forces up to Africa. demand a payment to the territory. I don't think we need to pay. Okay, let's move up to siege over here now. Their numbers are starting to grow over in Iberia. I think mainly because of mercenaries. Just fine dealing with our mercenaries. Oh, uh, maybe we should deal with that. Let's get more AE reduction because I'm going to need it. Let's see what I can take in the peace deal here. First thing I need to do, though, is go to a bellicose stance. Thirty eight AE, ninety nine war score. What's well, not really that much land? Problem is, it's because Egypt's the war leader. Okay, 
let's keep the war going for a little bit longer. have a pretty big civil war after this. You might actually perform a couple of divine sacrifices. Try and get our stability up. Sieges are ending in our favour here. This is going to kneecap Carthage pretty heavily. Thirty-six AE. That's not bad at all. And our holdings over in Liberia have significantly expanded. So I can demand the line of succession now. I'm going to do it now because it sounds fun to do it. Whilst. Uh, Whilst my troops are all over the place. Right, so the Roman Revolt is Gaul, most of Italy actually. But a lot of the armed forces I still have control over. In fact, I have all the armed forces, really. Okay, well, clearing that up is going to be what we do next, uh, next episode. It's going to take a bit of time, I suspect. But uh, the Roman Empire is going to be here. Just need to uh, clear it out. Well, it's, it's not an empire quite yet. Needs to do imperial ambition, and then I change to the Roman Empire, which requires me to deal with the civil war. So that'll be a fun next episode. Thank you very much for watching, though, everyone. I really appreciate you all doing so. Hope you've enjoyed this series of Imperator Rome. I will see you in the next one.